Hello, today we are going to learn the Juniper Space Management Platform. So, Juniper Space Management Platform is available in two kind of appliances. The first one is physical, the second one is the logical one, which is virtual appliance. So, J2500 is the one device which is available in the physical mode, which is a physical appliance. We can buy it and install it in our rack devices or in our shelves wherever we want to keep it and the other one is virtual appliance so virtual appliance is also available uh, in the market so we can uh, download it from the store. we can buy the license and we can run it so for the demonstration purpose i have downloaded the ovf file from juniper portal uh, if you want to use it for a learning and a demo purpose then you can use it you can create a credential with the juniper and uh, then like download it so I have downloaded it and I kept it in my device. So uh, what I will do, I will go ahead and I will import it. So here is my Juniper space. I have imported it. So it will take some time. In the meanwhile, I will pause it. As we can see, Juno's space has been downloaded now. I will start it. So, new node has been started now. So, now what we have to do, we have to log into this device. So, default credentials for Juno's space is admin. And the password is ABC123. So I'm gonna put username as a admin, password is ABC123. Enter. Great. You're on device for first time. So now it is asking you or it is prompting you to change the password. So it is asking for the current password, which is ABC123. <coughs> Here comes the requirement of new password. So the new password has to be long enough in the range of 16 to 40 characters. It has this requirement of three digits, three words, words to be specific, and a, a special character and a few numeric values. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put a new password. All right, so it is asking for pseudo password for admin. So it has to be the same password what you typed right away for resetting the password. So it will be same. I'm going to put same password once again. Voila, we are good. So now it has prompted us for a couple of options. Um, to know space can be deployed in multiple modes. So uh, what do we want to add it as it is asking? So uh, this Juno's space node can be installed as one of the following. The first one is space pl platform. The second one is FMPM. So it is a specialized kind of node, FMPM. So we will learn it later. For now, we are going to deploy it in space platform mode. So it is fully functional space platform. So every Juno space installation has to be have at least one space node. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deploy it in the Juno space platform. Just to configure the IP address. So uh, Juniper space could have um, multiple IPs. The first one IP will be of the management IP. So we can log into the device using this management IP. The other IP will be for GUI, which is graphical user interface. So if you want to uh, have GUI access to the devices, which we will have for sure. Uh, then we can configure the uh, second IP. So uh, it has a couple of interfaces, ETS0, ETH1, 2, and 3, like this. So uh, if we, it is our choice on what mode we want to deploy it. And for the demonstration mode, we are using ETH0 uh, for the CLI and GUI, both of them. 
we can use separate interfaces if you want to uh, use we can configure eth0 for management and eth1 for gui logging but yeah there is a limitation both this interface has to be in the same network okay so let's configure it by configure 192.168.1.1 all right, so I have selected the option one, which is configure IP. Now it is asking for IP address. So we are going ahead and putting the IP address. I'm going to put IP address and hit enter. Now it is prompting for subnet mask for ETA zero. It's slash 24, so I have kept it like that. Now it is asking for the default gateway. It has to be there. Default gateway has to be reachable. Otherwise, we are going to face a couple of issues. So I'm going to go ahead and put default address, default gateway address, sorry for that. Uh, and it is prompting, cannot ping the default gateway. Do you want to use this address? So we are going to go ahead with why. Now it is asking for us to configure the name server. The name server is very important in case of Juno's Space and Security Director, and it is very important for Space Fabric installation as well. So if you are going to configure um, Juno's Space environment and uh, firewalls and uh, Juniper devices, then uh, it is very important to configure the name server. All the devices which are in the same region should be having the same name server so it is good for us if we configure the same name server on all devices so i'm going to configure dummy uh, name server over here so once again it tried it and it is prompting us it cannot ping the name server do you want to configure it we are going to say yes As I said, um, we can have multiple interfaces in the security appliance, Zunos space security appliance, uh, and it is asking for us to configure the separate interface for management. So I'm gonna say no. Will this Zunos space system will be added to the existing cluster? So this is our first device. We are not going to add it in any cluster. So we have to select no if you are adding additional devices to existing cluster, fabric cl cluster, uh, then you have to select the yes and you will get a couple of different options. Uh, so be careful with that. So now it is asking for IP address of GUI interface, web GUI. So I'm going to hit enter. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to use IP address 192.168.1.2 for GUI. Remember, our IP for CLI is 192.168.1.1. Do you want to enable NET services? Since it is lab environment, we don't need that. I'm going to put no. Add NTP server. So, NTP server, we are going to put once again. Use this as data, yes. Same warning again. Please enter the display name for this device. So this is our test lab moment. Hit enter. Enter the password for cluster maintenance mode. So it is uh, very important to remember this maintenance mode password. Uh, for example, if you are going to upgrade the uh, Juno's space appliance if you are going to do some activity if you are going to do some maintenance in that duration of time this cluster maintenance password will be required you will be able to log in with this password only you won't be able to log into the device from your regular credentials so remember this and set it so I have configured the password 
It is asking us to verify the password. All right. So this is what the changes we are going to do. This is the summary of this. IP address will be 192.168.1.1. Remember, this ETA0 is a management IP. We'll be logging into this using CLI. The next one is default gateway, which is connected to the Ethernet 0. The next one is DNS address, which is 192.168.1.2. All right. We have done a bug over here. No, all right, my bad. So this is the web UI IP. Next one is NAT IP. We don't need it. NTP, sorry, NTP IP. And the next one is display name. So we are gonna hit A and apply the changes. Sorry. So now the device is gonna go down. It will come up with the new changes. And we are good to go with it. Once device is up, you would be able to log in it using GUI. Thanks for watching with this video. Stay tuned for the next video.